1080p. Probably nobody's going to be able to watch this, but um, hang on. Uh, Leeches. Reset size. So at least the board's visible. Yes, Chips is absolutely correct about this, by the way. Save. We'll uh, take the CLR browser, move it down there, maybe bump up its font size just a little bit. Um, so let's change that from 16 to, I don't know, 20 pixels. And maybe extend it a bit. Um, we'll do it all live. All right. So everything's set up. The board looks a little glitchy, but it's workable. So, here. Here. Oh, you here. so I'll get a pair in here any second now. Uh, any second. Uh, now, how do I get back to the tutorial? And I missed the tutorial somehow. Uh, Okie dokie. You know, we'll do it live. Who cares about tutorials? Um, yeah. Um, might have to kill the music. Yeah, sorry, you have to kill the music for the copyright reasons. All right. All right. Press E to start the engine. All right, I've started the engine. And let's see, do I have a pairing? I still need an opponent. And a color. Who played last week? Oh, you played last week? You're correct. You're correct. You're correct. So no. Wow, I'm bad at this. You're right, Gads. You shouldn't play mainline twice. You should play whoever's next down, which would be Nico. Nico needs to play down, though. He just played up. Uh, no, I'm okay with that, actually. Nico can play up twice. <laughs> So hopefully we'll get this working. Um, can I look around? Uh, this controller was working a minute ago. Arr. Apparently, I'm gonna have to learn how to control this with the keyboard and mouse. That's cool. Nope. But I tried that one. I tried all its buttons. I'm pretty sure the rest of my controllers are off. You just have to push a button for it to turn on. Yeah, Nick is here. Next one. Nick. Nick. Yeah. I'd probably have to go into the settings menu and change a few things. To do controls, set it up here. Chips is here, right? Chips. <laughs> Ico's here. Where's Ico? Is Ico not here today? No, Ico? I was just talking to Ico. Ico's playing. I'm going to remove those secondary ones. I don't think I have a choice to remove these. Oh, uh, huh? I do. Okay. So, yeah, keyboard so or controller will be the option I choose. 
Uh, it's detecting eight controllers because there uh, are two modes on each one. That's funny. It's a game pad. So it's going to be difficult to figure out which one it is. Yeah, I'll just have to try them all yep. until I get the right one. Isn't it supposed to work as a mouse, though, when you get it working? Oh, that's true. Yeah, okay. Use your additional controller to move the truck. Oh, I'm hitting all its buttons. Must be the wrong controller. Let's try and... Well, hang on. This has two modes, you said, right? Yeah. I don't think that's going to be the problem, though. Because the other mode is pretty much what you want to use. Right. Try all the buttons until something works. <laughs> but hmm. oh, nice! So nice. Okay, I got camera buttons and stuff. Nice. It's all automatic. All right, so I'm about to get my pairing and know who I'm supposed to play against. So we're about to see how this goes. Oh, stream is black. Really? All right, well, we'll deal with that. That's what I get for changing settings. Um, let's try this, that, and the other. Uh, position center this and set it to the default size. Try this once more. And does it still look black? Maybe it only. Um, that's kind of a bummer. I might have to pick a different game. Is there a different. Um, uh, Maybe there are two applications, like one of them is a runner and the other is... Yeah, I guess so. Uh, no. It doesn't look like a, any of those choices is going to work. It's kind of the point, Mainline, because you're at the top of the... Um, so you're always going to Maybe it only works while the game is up. I don't know. I mean, if... Oh, I got Shockful, oh, wait, huh? I just, I just oh, Olaf got Shockful. So Okay. Let's see. How does this look? Still black. Um, do I have any options to deal with that? Probably not. Uh, V-Sync enabled, graphic settings, blah blah blah. Oh, I got pedestrians. I can choose to see them or not see them. But if I don't see them, do I run them over? Um, I'm gonna try not in full screen mode and see what this does. Where did my game go? I think I lost my game. Oh, let me check who my opponent is. Okay, I've got block against Shockful. Um, okay. So let me get my opponent. Um, I've set this up correctly with the colors, so you need to play black. So I need to challenge Shockful. I have black. 
Um, And that guy is maybe a Spanish speaker. Mm. Mr. Castle. All right, so how many games do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Is there a problem there? <laughs> Oh, 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 with the shock hole. Alright, so this is the battle for first right here. Thank you, Pawn Attack. Boop, boop, boop. Thank you, Never Right. I believe that's all. Oh, wait, I'm still missing one. So, hopefully, this works. Why did I get paired against the 2000? Um. I'm not a man. I'm not a man. How are you, Monk? I'm good. Possibly mistyped the link. Sorry about that. Take your time, Dan. There's no rush. One, two, three, four, five, six. We still need links to a few games, so if you guys are listening to this, send me a link to the game. There we go. We got shock full, guys. Alright, so. Um, there we go. We got a standard King Pawn opening. Gonna um, make sure this like looks want. okay on the stream. Um, so we got e4, e5, knight of three, knight c6. Uh, stream's not capturing any of this. Um, although now it should. Um, but I mean, that should work in the background too. So, yeah. That's what I get for changing settings right before. I go live here and stuff. But here, we got a Rui Lopez. Um, Lee Chess does not like being captured in the background, does it? So, well, that's kind of a bummer. Um, maybe if I take this out of full screen mode again. I don't know why that didn't work last time. But I think that means I'm going to need to pick a different game. Um, something that does allow me to um, operate this in the background. Um, so we're gonna cancel out of this game. Yes, we indeed we do want to quit. Um, and pick something that's capable of running not in the background. So, uh, here's a game. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I can capture things this way? Well... Can I not operate any of these things in the foreground? Like... I'm so confused. Alright, so he's piling up by my bishop there. Um, we're gonna try hitting this rook here. Apparently this chrome won't update unless it's in the foreground. Wait, but I can run chess to uh, windowed. There we go. But Lee chess really doesn't like being captured at all. So in a couple seconds, okay, yeah, you got the current position there. Um, It's too bad that it only refreshes once a minute. 
Maybe I need to change that. Um, oh, okay, so it is catching things. It's just taking forever to stream them. Um, so that's it. Let me see if I can capture this game. Uh, I think I do have a capture for it. And we're gonna center this and stretch it to fit the entire screen. Great. I had no idea that there's so much blank space in this app. Um, so, yeah. I guess this will do, though. You guys can see the board, you can see my game. It's not ideal, but it'll work. Um, so... I've got both of these games to think about, and possibly any more that other people challenge me to. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's get this bishop developed. Um, so we're gonna fiendketo the bishop. Okay, over here, my opponent's king hits my rook. So, I'm pretty sure I would just want to hit the king, right? Um... I mean, I could do knight takes rook, just, just taking advantage of some of the idiosyncrasies of this game here. Uh, I'm threatening knight takes rook, I'm threatening bishop g3. This rook can actually move like a bishop because it's next to the bishop. This knight can move like a bishop because it's next to the bishop. Bishop could move like a knight. I mean, yeah, use your imagination. Um, but my last move was to bring the rook over here to help shield my king in case he tries tricky stuff. I'm thinking that bishop g3 is the way to go here. Um, this forces his king away from my rook. Not only that, but it does hound his king back to defending his own rook, right? So the only reason I hesitate is because it's going to take him forever to reply to my move, so why not spend my time thinking? Um, Alright, so Queen F3 has been played. Um, against Queen F3, I don't know, he's kind of harassing my center, but I want to Fienkedo on B7 anyway, so what's the big deal? Um, I guess he's going to play Queen G3 and then hit my C7 pawn. So, let's see, I guess, yeah, let's just defend the pawn. Okay, and over here, yeah, bishop g3 still looks the same, because he just does king c8. Um, this isn't quite relay chess, but it's still pretty cool. The other thing I could do is take this rook out. But why would I do that? Um, yeah, I'm gonna check here. He's gonna move his king back, and then I'm gonna check with the knight. And he's gonna be on the run for a little while. Alright, so... Rook E2's been played. Um... I do want to play queen d7 and rook a e8. So we're going to start with queen d7. Okay. Um, so, still waiting for my opponents to move here. Um, we're going to play... well, let's leave that out of this don't have a live opponent for that game, so maybe I should pick something else. Um, what else would be fun? Yeah, Thomas was alone is good fun. I think that could work. Alright, so we're gonna switch over here. Um, 
done this game before. Alright, so he's hitting my D-pawn twice. I do want to not lose the D-pawn. I do want to push it, in fact. Um, let's start by developing my rook, though. Because my D-pawn's not really threatened, so... Now's a good time to do that. Let's see, how does this look? Are you kidding me? I've done this game before. I know it works. Huh. I seem to have crashed the game. That's awesome. Okay, what else could I play? Um, I could play this. This one's been pretty reliable. I need to set up a video capture for it, but that's no big deal. Wait, where's my 1080p option? I don't have... oh, hang on, widescreen. Uh, still doesn't have a 1080p option. Uh, Yeah, this game won't work so well then. Um, let's pick something else. Okay, so if I'm right, I just play d4 here. Uh, he takes my bishop, I take his knight, or I take his bishop. I'm not sure. Either way, he seems to be um, walking into something here. Um, let's see, what other game? Can I pick? Uh, there is Cat. Cat's pretty cool. Oh right, I forgot Cat doesn't work on here. Um, so this is just a series of me trying one game after another and realizing I'm not really set up for any of these to work. Um, that's okay. It's all forgivable. Um, that just doesn't work. Yeah, that one doesn't work. I'll troubleshoot it later. Yeah. I don't think that game works at all. I filed a bug report. Um, okay. So, bishop f4. Um, well, I'm just going to keep developing. So, we're going to trade rooks. And just bring out the other rook. Um. <sighs> okay. Fail to load account data from the cloud. We'll try this once more. It's got to work, right? Um. Okay. And we'll just develop the bishop to the center. Let's see if I could get my stream set up like I had set up a couple days, or yesterday, in fact. Um, just to make this Hacknet Part 2. Um, oh, again, it's a shame that this board only updates once a minute. Because you don't get the full chess experience that way. Um, And let me try one thing over here. Uh, okay, so that'll hopefully refresh more often. And we'll see how well that works. Um, give that a couple seconds to kick in. And my rook is attacked. Isn't that lovely? Um, uh, 
Okay, so that looks a little silly. Um, let me make sure I've got everything dimensioned the way it should be. Um, we'll center this and expand it out. Hang on, let's recenter it. Okay, I just messed up basically with that other game. Okay, why is this still not fitting to the full dimensions of the screen, I wonder? Also, why is my chess game gone away? Um, I'd like to run this pawn down the middle. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna see if I can run this game... Um, not full screen. Apply changes. Alright, my center pawn's under attack. Um, I'm gonna defend that. So it's called overprotection. Um, yeah, again, my computer's kind of frying itself here, trying to keep up with everything. Um, Alright, my bishop's attacked. I pretty much have to trade it for something. Um, I suppose I could trade bishops here. It's a tough choice. Do I want the bishop or the knight? So, um, I don't know. If I trade bishop for knight and I hit his bishop, I can put my bishop on the long diagonal again. He's only got really the one target in the center, but his kingside pawns race faster than my queenside. Uh, I guess I'm taking the bishop. What was my objective here again? Oh yeah, you guys remember this from yesterday, right? Oh, I, sorry, that reminds me from yesterday. I've got to turn this way down so you guys can actually hear me. Um, good enough. Um, so yeah, my queen's attacked, or this queen's attacking stuff, rather. And it is difficult to oppose that queen, for sure. Um, okay, so if we've got this message, this means we're moving on along. Um, so... There's this group called Entropy that the bit used to be a part of. Um, and um, they'll teach me more when I'm ready. As we're getting into Entropy, I need to uh, open up shells to be able to overload it. You know, unless I happen to guess the password, which yesterday I did, because the game gave me enough clues to get in. Um, Let's check out the proxy server info. Uh, can use shells to break off a shell and access in the computer, basically to spawn additional processes. Um, my opponent offers a draw. Man, that's so tempting to actually accept that. Um, I don't know, can I win this against Shockful? Uh, it's, it's a difficult proposition for sure. Um, a draw does seem like a fair result though. Um, yeah, we're, we'll probably call this here. I think a draw is fair. 
I don't think I'm have anything you know remotely close to a winning advantage. If anything, I'm more likely to lose this than win it. So we'll take a draw and um, have better luck next time. So it was a fun game. Um, and this allows me to go focus back on this game, which I've been trying to get to also. Again, it's kind of a shame that my original idea didn't quite pan out. Um, it would be cool to get the whole truck simulator thing going, and I will find a way to make that work. Um, but for Tay, this is an interesting experiment. I learned some things from it. Um, I suppose we could take this time now to analyze the game. Um, Uh, you know, I guess I'll switch to this view. It's not going to work out perfectly. Oh, in fact, let me go back. Um, yeah, as you see, this doesn't quite work out. We're going to center it and fit it to the screen. So, oh yeah, turn off this little widget. Um, that's automatically been refreshing the whole time, and we'll do some analysis. Um, so this is a Berlin. Everybody's kind of sort of familiar with the Berlin. Um, this line... Oh, hang on. Okay, we're still live. I'm not sure what that bing noise was a minute ago. But yeah, this line is not the most aggressive line in the Berlin. Um, usually white tries something involving d4. And this does get interesting. I think d4 is actually tried earlier in general. Um, like, I mean, I've seen this before. Um, certainly knight takes is playable. Although, by far the most common move here is d4 right away. Um, whoops. And then... White takes here and um, takes e5, trades queens. Usually, this is how it goes. Um, but yeah, rookie one. This is a peaceful approach to the game that aims to trade down and have a pretty equal game. Uh, I didn't know queen e2 was actually bad. That's interesting. Uh, I played bishop f6, which I've played this position before. I know it works reasonably well. Um, so apparently uh, Stockfish prefers my position, although I'm not sure why. I mean this is a bit awkward for white, but I don't think it amounts to anything serious. Um, and I just keep developing and developing and we... yeah, as I suspected this bishop e3 doesn't do white any favors, but um, again, I don't think white was ever in any serious danger, nor was black. I did consider d4, knight e4, but I didn't think this would lead anywhere, but Stockfish apparently thinks otherwise. Oh, right, I just went a pawn. So that's the deal. That's where I missed my big break this game. And then, yeah, after that, we had a pretty equal game. Um, nothing was really missed there, so overall, pretty solid game. Um, it's a shame I missed that break on E4, but, you know, maybe if I'd spent more time putting the stream together and focusing on the technical stuff, I could have um, done better on the chess aspect of this while we were going. Um, so, uh, anyhow, thanks to one and all for watching, and I'll come back with a different game kind of soon. We'll see. Alright, see you around.